All right, last map of the episode, the portals of chaos. And dramatically rising up. And we got a bit of these gargoyles to take care of. Pretty much all of them that shoot fire poo at you. <laughs> Again, I mentioned fire poo. Because it looks amusing. Because it sounds amusing. Not looks amusing. I mean, seriously, how, how does poo look amazing? It's just disgusting. And you guys were trying to assassinate me. How dare you? Oh, <laughs> got some infighting. So pretty much for this map, is if I remember, is just go ahead and clear out some of the lesser monsters first. And we're going to have to save all of our very powerful weapons for last. Do some, just just use some of your weapons that do decent damage to the other ones. And if all goes well, there's going to be three monsters probably left standing, so we have to get like 60 of these lesser uh, monsters. Disciples sneaking past. Ah, oh, well, shoot. Okay, uh, holy crap. Uh, could you leave me alone, please? Okay, that'll work. Ooh, nice. A pit of everything. That's that's what you want for this battle. Okay. Oh! You know, some of you monsters trying to assassinate me, you always just end up failing to some extent. Um, I believe that's something that might trigger if I stand on top of that thing and grab the crossbow. And I don't want much things to be triggered yet. We got a good deal of monsters killed ASAP. This is about where I started. 
Okay, so we're gonna have a few lesser monsters running about. Huh. Alright. Standing on top. Okay, there it goes. Mystic Urn. I haven't used the mix Mystic Urn in a long I I never used it actually. Because I really didn't have any health problems. But I'm sure I'm gonna have health problems in the next episode, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh wait, I see something opened up right there. But there's crushers. Alright, I only see three of them, so let's cheese it. And now I think I screwed myself over. Okay, maybe not. Oh, there's a teleport. Okay, we are all suited up and ready to go, pretty much. Okay, it takes me back here. Now, with that, let's head up these stairs and let's see what's our let's see what our bosses are. Oh, there they are. What? What the hell? Why did I teleport back here? Now oh, they were like teasing me because there was a morph of them there, even though I can't use it to kill them. Oh, wait, the, wa the, the wall's lord. Okay. So here we have Molotors, which are minotaurs that wield giant mauls. Alright. Basically, want to be at a safe distance. Uh, pretty much our attacks are they just shoot out these fire bolts. And if. Make sure you're not too close, because they'll randomly charge at you, hence why they are freaking. bull like enemies. Alright. So right now I want to get these guys all bundled up together. Because I want to use up my powered up thing here. Can I even grab this? No, they're just teleporting me to random spots. I don't know why. Because I just can't seem to grab anything. Alright, let's use it. This will probably be the most effective damage against them. Well, if they're all cluttered up together, that is. Oh yeah, they also just slam their hammer on, on the floor to send some sort of wall of fire to you. Back to normal. Alright, then I guess we'll have to use the Phoenix Rod for a bit. Yeah, these guys are very slow and pretty much predictable for their patterns and all that stuff. Here, let me get this ready in hand if I have to be invincible. Yeah, they are very versatile. I'm pretty much sure they have lots of HP and all, all that jazz. You know what? Actually, oh, oh, I thought someone died. One actual thing that you can do is that if you're invincible with the ring and then you have a powered up Phoenix Rod, you can use the Phoenix Rod as like a flamethrower. And if you just keep holding down the button. It'll pretty much like last for a long time. Like you only use like you one piece of ammunition for a long burst of flame. At least that's what I remember. In fact, let's save that. And God, I really forgot how I go ahead and grab those things. Do I grab them from the inside? It looks like I can. Yeah, because I picked that up, so I have to do it from the inside. Alright, let me try to grab this tomb. There we go. Let's back up. 
outside. Alright, let me get the Phoenix Rod ready. Go invincible. Two power. And let's flame him. Although, I'll, there we go. Just gotta keep holding it down. Oh, there goes one. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Alright. Use a bit of the crossbow now. Should be dead some point soon. There we are! Finished! The Molotors have been defeated. Okay, I guess we take either one. Let's just get out of here. Red! Holy crap, that's kind of bright. The mighty Molotors have proved to be no match for you. And as their steaming corpses slide to the ground, you feel a sense of grim satisfaction that they have been destroyed. The, gate, the gateways which they've guarded have opened, revealing what you hope is the way home. But as you step through, mocking laughter rings in your ears, as some other force controlling them was some other force controlling the Molotors. It's hard to read through this bright red. Could there be even more horf horrific beings through this gate? The sweep of a crystal dome overhead where the sky should be is certainly not a good sign. No, it is not a good sign. This is pretty much where everything's gonna be a lot more difficult. And you'll see why once we start off the next episode. I'll see you then.